So we have no dice, no hard feelings, uh, no if ands, or buts, no offense, no way, no comment, nah, nope, not at all, uh, no thanks, not possible. <laughs> um, maybe another time, not interested, uh, I'm afraid I can't, and just plain no. So for most of us, the word no is one of the first words that we actually start to recognize. Uh, as we grow older, it becomes apparent that we can't handle the word no. So in order to kind of get everybody uh, kind of prepared, we brought in Daniel Taylor. How are you doing? Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. Uh, kind of, you know, filling the spotlight here. I got to... Freshen up a little bit. Uh, yeah. Let me see that thing it up. All right, all right, all right. Um, <clears throat> you know, greatness. Yeah, as it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, for most of us, yeah. it is an obstacle. Uh, but how do we kind of transform that word into more of a uh, powerful teaching tool? Well... <sighs> First of all, is confidence. In order to turn those no's into yeses, you got to be able to persuade the people and you got to be able to talk. You see what I'm saying? Small talk, big talk is all the same. You just got to be able to talk, be able to talk them out. It's like talking a female out her draws. You got to be able to talk her out the draws. You know? <laughs> Just being honest, you know. You all got right, to be able to. Talk her out the draws, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get in them skins, you know. But, you know, you're selling yourself to the person that's trying to buy your product. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're, you're walking on eggshells. Well, I don't walk on eggshells because I don't give a f you say no or yeah. I'm going to just say, I'm going to talk you into it anyway, either way. Or, well, my confidence will, you know what I'm saying? My confidence speaks for itself. You have to allow your confidence to speak for itself. If you do not have confidence and you're scared to talk to people, you're not going to be able to get nowhere. You're not going to be able to get anything. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be a bump of the log just sitting there just, huh, having having, having what ifs or uh, what it could have, should have, or no, just go for it. Go after, go after what you want, and stop making excuses. Because the more you, the long, the more, the longer you keep on making those excuses, the longer you're waiting, and longer, and the more you're getting older, and the more you're fucking just losing time. Go get it. Okay. All right. So, uh, I guess, what's your history with uh, being told no? I've been told no plenty of times. Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Uh, can you give us an example of one that uh, stands out? Oh, uh, sh**. Uh, it was a time where, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm go straight in. It was a time where I was, you know, marketing to black folks, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought, you know, some of them was going to going to back me because, you know, we brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? I just thought, you know, but a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them in this industry have pushed me away, you know what I'm saying? Because my character wasn't dark-skinned or my character wasn't what they wanted it to be. Jarhead, get that, go mm -hmm. get it. Jarhead Revelation, go get it. Great but, comic. Amazing comic, by the way. But thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's just the way people perceive me because I come off as a cocky ass, arrogant type of person. But what when when you don't know me, that's how I come off. But when you do know me, it's like, hey, he's confident as dude, or he's he's a person that's that knows what he knows and wants what he wants and gonna die or gonna go for it to get it, you know. I'm a hungry ass person, so I don't have time to play around with people. If you ain't making, if we're not making money together, what the fuck are we doing? 
You know yeah. what I mean? So when it comes to the word no, to be honest with you, it was a time when like I was Mark, I was Mark, I was talking to a person and you know, they was telling me all oh, they were looking at the book or that, and they asked me to the page count. And they said, Oh, this page count is is low and, and you're charging this ten dollars for a twenty eight pager. I said, Yeah. But they didn't understand the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears I put into this. The long nights, the the, the months, the years that me and my team has put it put up this you know what I mean and so I used that no and I turned that into 40 likes 40 yeses all right uh as a former teacher so many people uh I've, I've seen that so many people in uh today's society uh believe they they deserve that yes without putting in that uh blood sweat and tears like you had mentioned um what advice would you give uh, to the perceived kind of entire generation to prepare for real world rejection? Well, I would say you have a lot to learn, young fella. <laughs> because ain't nobody owed you anything. Don't nobody owe you. And ain't nobody going to give you. You got to go get it by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? You have to go take your respect. You got to go get it. You got to make this project the thing that makes you feel that this is, you got to go at it like it's your last meal. You got to go at it like it's your last day on earth. Because you never know. It could be your last day on earth. You never know. It could be your last meal. You never know. Good point. Take it. Being entitled and and expecting, expecting people to give you shit. It goes well for the for the that that's been born with the silver spoon in it goddamn mouth. But the people who 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 don't who wasn't born with that, like myself, the people who wasn't who hasn't 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 had anybody to give him anything, has had to work for shit, had to even, you know, put my own money to it. A lot of these guys in this business are entitled. You know, they don't have to work for anything. They don't have to go all out and fight for it. And that's why they look at guys like me with the confidence that I have and can go through the that I go through and still keep moving, still keep ticking, still keep knocking down the doors every minute because that is what I was born to do. And there's a lot of people out there that is entitled to something that they can't do. They're entitled to, to 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 success. They're entitled to it. They feel that they're entitled to it. Well, if you feel that entitled, go get it. I bet you all those people who don't feel entitled, who working for it, it's not going to let you get it that easy. Okay. Because it's uh, like this. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was just about to say, a uh, kind of friend and colleague, Jared, you know Jared, uh, yeah, yeah. once told me that you're going to get uh, statistically, a hundred no's before you ever get your first yes. Uh, kind of has that held true for you, or? Well, I got more no's than yeses in my life. I'm gonna tell you why. I've had people tell me that they was gonna do it, do to me, and didn't come through. That's happened more times than not in my life. Happened more times than not in my life, and I've grown to move past that. Even when people say they got, they gonna help me, I do it on my own. I don't wait for anybody anymore. I'm not gonna wait for you. If you if you sitting there slowing around, you sitting there, you know, you know, don't have no confidence in your stuff that you can't do it. Oh, I'm just gonna, I just wanna hold him back. See, and I'm gonna tell you something. I will all, I always have this motto: keep your friends closer, and your enemies close. Why I say that? Because your enemies know, you know what they're about. You know, already know what they're going to do. You already know what they're about. But the people, but your friends, your your friends have all the access in the world to you. They're the ones that's going to stab you in the back before anybody else will. Okay. Can being told no actually be a good thing? Yeah. 
if you take it that way. If you take it that way, if you take it the way, that way as a, as a, as a win, because being told no can turn into a yes. Meaning you could go out for a tryout in football, right, and be told mm-hmm. no a million times, but the next minute you go back out for that and you work at it and you work at what you what you've done and you go and you work at it and work at it and work at it and work at it, and, at it. and when you go back, they have no reason to say no. They're going to say yes automatically, anyway. Because you're that damn good. So you're talking about turning into more of like con- turning that no into more constructive criticism. I'm talking about making them turn into a yes, have, making them have no choice to, but to turn that yes. Because they're going to see you, and they're going to see another team looking at you. They're going to be like, "No, nah, I want that kid. We look, we looked past him before. I want him." It's just like in a comic book industry. You know what I'm saying? There's mm-hmm. a lot of schools that denied me the time to come on. They even took away my time to even talk. Right? This is what this is when I was a How so? Well, this is what happened. I was on the show one day and I had like five other guys on the show with me. Five other guys that was promoting their right. I can easily tell you my stood out because all the attention was on me the whole entire time. The co-host, the co-host was on me. The co-host's attention was on me and another other guy. But what the whole situation was, the host became a hater. He'd get into the yeah. comment boxes and on other shows. And if you know that person, he'll tell you, oh, I, I told that person I, I like this stuff. I always liked this stuff. But you hated on me that time. And, like, why? So, so basically, you don't remember you hating on me. You see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. for the simple fact, I never even got the. I only got 15 seconds or 15 minutes to talk, to even say anything. Everybody else got more time to speak about their. <laughs> me, I didn't get nothing. I, I like. I see one day I learned how to, how to market my book in seconds. If I get a minute. I market that thing like it ain't like it ain't no thing like it. I sling that shit like it's crap. <laughs> it's easy. It's like that. That's just me, you know what I mean? But I learned how to do that at a faster pace before the show, after the show, during the show, wherever time, wherever spotlight I get, yeah. I ace it. When you when your confidence is booming, when you truly have confidence in yourself, people see that. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Let your confidence show. If you're con- if you falsely conf- if you have false confidence, it will show. You know what I'm saying? But if you're confident and you know that you're confident and you know what you're doing and you know how to do it and you know what you want to do and you know how to do it, and you're where you, where you going with it? You're going to get natural haters that's going to hate on you. You see what I'm saying? It's going to hate on you because you're because you know what you're talking about, and, and your project speak for itself. You see what I'm saying? And my project was speaking for itself, and I damn near took over the show. Every five seconds, they were talking about me. Okay. Uh, you were you were speaking before about uh, other uh, kind of black creators that were acting more like uh, gatekeepers. Um, how did that kind of affect the dynamic of everything? Well, that affected me in a way where I took and I ran with it. I said, hey, you hate on me? I'm going to make you eat those words. And see, you know, the same that I'm sorry if I'm cursing a lot, but that's just me. Oh, no, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. I'm going to say that. Really, you know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, in all honesty, a person that's that if, if you're around people who don't have confidence, if you're around that that word confident, if you don't have if you don't if you're around people that that is down on it, that 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 don't believe in themselves, you're gonna start mm-hmm. not believing in yourself as well. You're a product of who you hang around. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you're hanging around what you gonna be? If you're hanging around smart what are you gonna be? Good point. 
If you're hanging around businessmen, what are you going to start to pick up? Knowledge of, okay. of becoming becoming a businessman, right? Yeah. Okay. What if you're around people that are that are and that are ignorant and racist? What do you want to be? Yeah, you bring up a good point. I like that. Um, because yes, yeah, because you can't just put yourself around anybody. And there's a lot of gatekeepers, black, white, green, blue. There's a lot of gatekeepers in this industry. And these blend in to the normal crowd and click. And they have click, clicks, clicks. And there's a lot of clicks in this industry. And that's why I'm going to keep it real with you. People don't want me to compete. People don't want me to have a competitive spirit. But that's just the way I am. If I see a person hating on me, I'm going to use that to my advantage and I'm going to eat off of that. And that's what I've been doing. Going and going and going. I'm like that rabbit. Keep going and going and going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just Yeah, you got your own me. channel uh, with tons of videos on there. I mean, just great stuff. Uh, and your your comics are going strong. I, I love them. Love them. Is that, I mean, has that... Uh, being told no kind of help push that. Um, you know, every time you get told no, it seems like you just come back even stronger, you know, and a little harder. So, well, being told no sets in my mind and took me back to that childhood spot. I don't know, a lot of people don't notice, notice about me, but I've been rejected a lot, I've been neglected a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, me as a child, me as a child growing up. I was always the one where neglected by friends and neglected by people that I trusted. You know what I'm saying? See, people don't understand you as a person. You know, I put what I what I what I went through in my comic books because I put what I went through in my in my shows. You know what I'm saying? And being told no, you can't, you're not good enough. Know that you're not great. Know that you you're just a man. Know that you're just a no, you're just a, 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 just like everybody else. No, you're not. You're not going to mount to anything. No, you're just a piece of. <laughs> you're yeah. trash. You're, you're nothing. I used to cry because of that. I used to cry and cry in my room and 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 and, and, and let that bug me. But now, I turn that into motivation and I eat it. And I hunger off of it. And I, like I said, people don't understand. Jared, Jared knows me. Jared knows me like the back of his hand. He knows me. I'm telling you. Me and Jared, we talk on the phone a lot. But the thing about it is, is that Jared, he tries to psychologically, you know, get me there. But <laughs> I can't stand Jared, but that's my brother's ass. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in all honesty, man, as a man... Being told no was always the the one thing that I wanted, I needed. You see what I'm saying? Being told no just helped me push, helped me get there. I hate when people try to try to gas me up. Oh, you just great! You this, you the best dog. You you just so awesome. Get your <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Come on, man. Like I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to play, trying to play on my emotions to to get me high, higher than what what I'm supposed to be, and then I fall. So you can kick me while I'm down. F out of here. I know, I know the you... bullshit when I see it. When the next best thing come around, right? Mm -hmm. They build you up to knock you down. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there who build you up, who build you up to be this, and then knock you right back down when you. F and okay. then, you know, it's crazy. Like, they throw you away like you're a piece of trash. When the next big thing, when the next person that supposedly have potential come around and you just blowing in the wind. You thought that they were your, they, that they were your homie. You thought they, they was down for you. You thought they supported you. But now the other person come around, they don't support you. Do you see their true colors? You see that they're... That they're liars, they're that they're fakes, and they and when you fall, and when you make a mistake, they kick you while you're down. 
The same people that built you up is the same people that fucking knocked you right back down if you give them a chance to. Now, I'm not saying that everybody will do that. I'm saying I know the people that will do that. And that is why I speak against them like I do, because I can see it a mile away. And that's why I just say and do what I do. Okay. So how do you uh, essentially keep from drowning in those notes? Because, I mean, you know, just starting starting out, there's you get a lot of uh, – uh, you need that experience, but you can't get that experience until you get the job kind of uh, aspect to it. So, I mean, just for somebody starting out, it's so many no's. How do you actually keep from just being – overwhelmed by it all well what i do is basically i just sit, take a deep breath and i just let it go just work just work because the no the word no is just a word it's just a word because the word no is not set in stone you know what I'm saying? It's not set in stone. Just because you got to know today don't mean you got to know yes tomorrow. Don't mean you get to know the next day. You know what I'm saying? That no turns into that no turns into yes if you put the work in. Because you never know what people is watching. You never know when people is watching. You don't know who's watching. So you you get prepared for that, yes. You prepare it for it. But sometimes, sometimes, and a lot of people get that yes before they can even work, before they can prepare for it. What I mean by that, okay, it's a lot of people who had success given to them. Mm -hmm. And at a young age, and they couldn't handle it. They, they didn't respect it. They didn't appreciate it. And when that when that success comes, it comes fast. Like I'm talking lightning fast. You got it. What you going to do with it? And a lot of people fold under the pressure. Fold under the lights. Under the bright lights. Fold because they can't, hold, can't carry that big of a load on their backs. With me, I've been carrying the load. I've been carrying the world on my back ever since I was younger. So it's nothing to me. I don't mean I'm just I'm using me as a as a as an example. But when you put that load on your shoulders, be ready to carry that. Be ready to to take take it on that on your shoulders and be ready to carry it and then kick while you're carrying it. You know what I mean? Okay. Because because if you want to be the best, being the best is not just, oh, I'm saying it. Being the best is you perform under the pressure. Being the best is that you that you say what you should say what you are and your performance lead up to it. And even if people don't say that you're the best, they know deep down in their soul that you are. That's why they act the way they act. And that's why haters act the way they act because they know that you're great. But hey. So I remember when, when I was first starting out, um, I got told no so many times, but then I got a yes. And in all honesty, it was a yes that I, looking back, I jumped at because, you know, I'm being told, yes, they like my stuff, but I, I didn't really look into it enough and I was taken advantage of, um, but I jumped into it, you know, kind of head first because it was that first yes um you know how how do people deal with situations like that well what they do is what they do is basically just basically be prepared be prepared for those wolves to come knocking at your door ready to eat you alive you got to be able to walk with them you got to be able to eat with the sharks and eat the sharks if you have to but see and a lot of things is like this i've been naive in this industry <laughs> they will eat you alive if you allow them to 
that's what I mean by a lot of people get success before they even work hard for it. Because when you work hard for the success, you learn along you learn along the way patience, hard mm-hmm. work, dedication, and appreciation, and respect for yourself. You know what I'm saying? All that prep, prep, prepping and all that uh, preparation and all that uh, uh, execution, patience, all learning all that, it builds character and it builds the person that you want to be and that you are today. It builds you up and it builds your, your, your performance. It builds everything up so you're prepared and you're ready mentally, physically, and emotionally and all of that. And now you know you learn how to know how to go in there, you know how to think, and you know how to be observant when you go into that to that yes, and be like okay. Because if you don't know, if you just go into that hey first, you're gonna get taken advantage of because people take advantage of people who don't know. It's like going to prison. You think if a person see you, you don't think they're gonna try to take advantage of you. <laughs> I wouldn't last a minute in prison. I, I'm gonna. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was just saying, like, you don't think. See, people say, yeah, you know, you don't think they they're gonna look at fresh fish. They're gonna think of ways how to how to get you. But if you stick to your guns and you and you stand up for yourself and you speak speak uh, speak up, they won't f- with you. But if you just hold yourself accountable, yes, I've never been to prison. I look, I never been, never been to jail in my life. But I look at things, I look at things as prison. I look at things and I learn from those things. You know what I'm saying? I learn from them. My brothers teach me about about that all the time. So I learn that. I learn about it. I learn from it. And I, I add that to life. And that's how I move. How I move and I, I just go for it and I fight for it and I fight for what is mine and I'm going to be successful at it. But a lot of people have to be prepared for success. If you're not prepared for success and you just get it, you're going to fall flat on your face because you're not going to be ready for the pressure that come with it. Uh, you brought up your brother. Has your, uh, I guess, relationship with your family, your friends and that kind of stuff, uh, how has that actually formed you as a person in order to handle all this, in, in order to handle you know, the word no, in order to handle uh, all the hard work that you have to put in? How, how has that formed you? My family, you know, having family that sometimes don't don't support, you know, have a family that don't know about the stuff that I do, you know, but learning about their situations, learning about what they go through, learning about, you know, just getting to know them individually, you know, you can learn from them. But, you know, as a person, I learned to just keep on, keep on pushing. You know what I mean? My brothers taught me to be tough and be strong. You know what I'm saying? Be like a wolf. Eat everything in sight. Because if you don't eat everything in sight, they will eat you. Meaning like this, you're a rat in a mix of in the midst of snakes. You better eat, you better try, you better get away or try to eat them before they eat you. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. It's like, yes, a mouse and snakes. Think about it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mouse yeah. and snake. You're not gonna be able to eat them all, but you better get one before before they all get you. At least, at least you got one down, because at least when you get out the hospital, or at least when you when you get back up, and they ain't looking, you get them again. Get one by one. You know what I mean? That's what I look at my goals. I get them one by one by one, and I one by one, and I conquer every last one of them at this at one time. Take my time conquering, because everything that I conquer, I learn from, and I accumulate knowledge from it by by going for it. You know what I'm saying? Because as you're going for your goals, you're gonna learn about you're gonna learn about life. You're gonna learn more things about life. You're gonna learn more things about struggle. You're gonna learn. Because when those things come right back up and around, you're going to learn how to handle those things when it comes back around. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see I can see that that is that all my answers are very 
Like you got you flabbergasted, like damn, this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's stuff that uh, I don't tend to think about. As you know, I mean, I've been told no so many times because you know uh, I'll, I'll usually ask like, well, why not? And you know, I, I get a set of uh, of answers. There's the uh, the quick no, which is, look, I I ain't got time for this right now. You know, okay, cool. Uh, I could you know, approach that when you do have more time, let's set a schedule now, you know? Um, and then there's that kind of more long-term no, where it's, uh, you know, I'll get rejected for this reason. You know, I didn't like this particular character. Uh, you know, I'll actually get them to break it down for me and okay, now let's take those notes and try to create a, uh, a stronger uh, story overall, uh, you know, kind of build that world up. I've never really, just take a no and went with that you know uh so i see a lot of creators that that do and you know they get beat down and they give up and it's like wow you had such a good story why are you giving up nobody cares right and see that's the you thing know? it's the fight fight of the fitness the fight of the of the of the of the of the life fight of david you know life david and goliath Think about mm-hmm. it. David knew he, he couldn't he couldn't beat him head up, so he slung that slingshot and hit him in his cross his nose. One shot, one hit, crushed all that, and he went down. Hit hit them the right way. You say the right thing. You do the right thing. One time, it only takes one time for somebody to see you on a show, and somebody see your work. One time. And bang, you off to stardom. You off to success. You off. Think about it. One time, just like David, when he hit him, it only took one hit. One hit. One big hit. Sorry about that. I just hit her. But one <laughs> hit. <laughs> one hit. You know what I mean? One measly hit. One. One hit. One hit right there in the t- right there in the middle of the forehead. And wham, you got it. But you gotta be able, you gotta be ready for that one hit. You gotta be that ready for that opportunity. You can't f- around f- over yourself and not get the opportunity. Cause there'd be times when you when you or you feel like you 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 you're not ready for it. You feel like I don't give a f- if you're not ready for it. Go ahead, hit them. Go ahead, hit it, create it. Don't give a f- up. Don't give up when you see when something somebody says no. You're going to get a bunch of those no's. But those no's will turn into yes as soon as you hit that in his head. And he's going to fall down and you're going to cut his head off and you're going to show him that you're the best. You're the greatest of all time. You're the greatest that ever came alive. And I bet you they, they kneel down and say you're the best. And I bet you they come knocking at your door and say, I want him on my team. Damn right. Kind of going back to that... Uh... You know the the entitled uh, ones. I've seen a lot of people that they're really not there. Like they need to be told no, um, but they still come at it with the confidence of I am the best there's yeah. ever been. And I'm looking at it, and I've seen some stuff that like, wow, my nine year old kid uh, has drawn better, or the story doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, I can see why you got rejected, but, you know, they don't take that as, you know, anything but, nope, I'm the best. See, the thing about that is, is that, is that you, see, you have people in this, in this industry that don't truly believe in themselves. They like to hear themselves talk. You know what I'm saying? And when they like to hear themselves talk, they like to, you know, mouth off because they see guys that have worked for it say that they're, they're the best. You know what I'm saying? I've seen so many guys in this industry um, bite off of my material, bite off of my swag, bite off of what I'm doing. Oh, bite off my energy. But see, they can't bite off my energy because it's too high, too strong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Like, you see how I can turn it up? And I can turn it down. I can go, ah, 
that's just me. That, that's that's you know what I mean. That's that's I, that's just that's just the way I am. And the thing about it is, is that greatness. What I've been through in my life built this this energy. It built that confidence. It built that 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 will to win. And that's why I, I'm never turning it off. I never turn it down. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way I am. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't be my, I can't not be myself in this industry. And that's why people want you to be something that you're not. And I'm not going, I'm not going to be something that I'm not. I'm going to be me. You know what I mean? And see, a lot of them feel entitled. Oh, I'm great. But look like. <laughs> look like dog. Shit. Look like cat poop. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and they don't want to hear it. Now I'm not. I'm now. I'm not saying. See, what I would do is I would say it the nice way. You know what I mean? I would be nice and say it looked like it looked like right now. You know what I'm saying? Build that up. You know what I'm saying? Work it out. Build it. And I'm not saying it's, it's, it looked like cat poop because it's all because of the. No, I'm saying it because to build you up. It looked like cat. Go back to the drawing board, build it up, so that your work can lead up to your mouth. Because your mouth is not leading up to your work, and your work is not leading up to your mouth, and it's not even. You want a balance between there. You know what I mean? A lot of these entitled people have never been through shit, never been through the struggle, so they don't. They wouldn't know. You see what I'm saying? They don't know. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of guys in this industry that look like look at me that looks at me like I'm stupid, like I'm crazy when I speak like this, because they cannot, they don't, they don't know what struggle, real struggle is. They don't know, they really don't. They don't know what struggle is. Struggle is struggling. Is not. Oh, my wife is is going is going through something, or I'm going through something with my my, my baby. Struggle. It's not having money for 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 what you want to do. Struggle is being being told, you know, oh well, I ain't got the hours for you. Struggle is when struggling is when you know you can't be something. You can't do something that you really want to do because you don't have the money for your materials. Having to mm-hmm. ask your own friends for money. Eventually, some of your friends is going to turn into enemies, and they're going to throw it in your face that you've asked them for money. I've seen it done. That's why I don't ask friends for money. That's why I don't ask anybody. I'd rather struggle before I ask anybody for money because I want to get it myself. I don't want to have to owe no damn body. F*** that owing because at the end of the day, owing anybody is going to it's going to look stupid on my end. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the fact is, is like it's not good, you know. Being being great and being being the best, you're speaking a language that only certain people know. Not everybody. I want to say, ten percent of the people know that language. Language. Ninety percent don't. Ninety percent don't. I never really looked at it that way. Yeah, ninety percent of people don't know don't know what success is. They don't even know what struggle is because they haven't been through enough struggle to understand what really struggle is. Trust me, a lot of these in this industry they live in they live suburban houses, big suburban houses, or if you look in their background, they look like they living in luxury. Come on, man, these. Just got good paying jobs and they still can't fund their own comic book. Get the fuck out of here. Real shit. How you got a good paying job and all these bills and kids and a wife? And your wife telling you you can't do it. Yeah, we can't do it. We can't afford it. Man, f that. That's your dream that you want to take care of your family with. What the wife say, go do it. I don't give a I don't give a fuck if I lose my wife. I don't even got no wife. I don't go. I lose my wife going for going for what I want. I don't. I'm just 
picture what my wife would say, and uh, it ain't pretty. <laughs> yeah, I know she. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> looking looking at that situation, man. I understand what guys are going through when they have a wife and kids and all that stuff. I just don't have the time. Make time. Take your wife and your kids with you and go chase dreams. Go get it because it's not going to fall on your lap. Go fucking get it. Go get it. If your wife got to help you, so be it. Go get it. Go get it. If she can't help you, she shouldn't even be your wife. Y'all supposed to believe in huh? each other. Y'all supposed to be one flesh. One, 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 see, one, not two, one. If y'all supposed to take care of one another and help one another, then why is one taking care of one and not the and not, and the other not taking care of that one? Yeah, just, the, wouldn't that look like it's, uh, that per that one person is off to themselves instead of, you know, what I'm saying, I get it. See, that's my wife has been like you know behind me a hundred percent. So you know, I I can't you know speak to those people who are like. Oh, my wife, you know, won't let me, you know, follow my dreams or anything like that because, I mean, she's been so supportive since we first started this way back when and uh, even before. So uh, I, I've always had that support group. You know, I, I, I can't speak to those who are, you know, still struggling even when, you know, we got the kids, got the relationship, you know. I, I, I got to, you know, make those bills. Yeah. So. There's always ways to get over it, get on, get get uh get ahead on your bills. There's always a hit. There's always a way. You know what I'm saying? If this okay, there's guys in this industry that that comics is their way to way to pay their bills. Comics is the way mm -hmm. to eat. There are guys who who don't take this serious. They got another job and another job where they can take care of home and still do comics. There's a lot of guys who got great paying jobs, but still cannot pay for their own comic books. That go to that go to uh 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 what you call that? Uh, what you call that? Kickstarter, and eat off of them. I've been doing this with my own fucking money. I didn't pay. I didn't get anybody else to anybody else's money. I didn't do anything. I got my own money. And I put my own book together by myself. Nine dollars and fifty cent worth of hard work. I I know a lot of people uh, use you know Kickstarters to handle kind of pre-orders or you know to gauge interest okay. in their projects and stuff like that. So it's not strictly you know I need you know to get this funded in order to actually produce something. It's I I need this funded so I can get that word out there. So I can show the world what I'm capable of. Yeah, I get that. I, I feel I feel what you're saying, but think about it. You don't need Kickstarter to get the word out there. All you need is somebody that got a show. Get the fucking word out. That's it. Get the word out. If you don't know how to talk, you ain't gonna be able to get it out anyway. Okay. Sorry. About that. You ain't gonna be able to get it out anyway if you don't have the gift of gab, because. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't got to get the gab, you ain't going to get nowhere. Because... See, that's that's one of the hardest things, though. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people who are like, I can't public speak, but at the same time, like, uh, you know, kind of on that flip side, I can't sell stuff. I Like, me personally, I'm not a salesman. Ask Jared, uh, you know, I tried to sell him on some ideas, and all he did was laugh at me. He was like, oh, hell no, it ain't ever going to work if you try that pitch. And I was like, man, I've worked all night on that. That was perfect. No, nah, not even close. You know, um, a lot of people, they they don't have that gift of gab. Uh, did you still did some you do it amazing with, creators? What? See, see, when you're doing that with, with Jared, when you're talking with Jared, you got to talk with confidence. And you have to be able to, talk, you have to talk with a, a certain language with him. Because he ain't gonna just say he ain't gonna just accept any old thing. That's what I learned about oh, I talking know. with Jared. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> did, did you when you was talking to him? Did you speak with confidence in your voice? Did you speak with upright, knowing you want this? You know, I thought I did until he like broke down everything. He's like, "This is what you're doing wrong," and 
the list was almost longer than the pitch itself. So right, you know, right. I see. You know, he get, he gets me like that too. He gets me like that too. But he knows me. He knows I'm going to go over his head mm-hmm. and do it anyway. <laughs> Cause I, that's just a, that's just the way I am. You know, even if, even if a friend, uh, criticize me constructively, even if they tell yeah. me, oh, you can't, oh, you know, I don't think you should do it. And they do it in love. I respect that, but I'm going to just do it anyway. Because you, 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 you won't, you won't know unless you try. You won't know unless you try it. Try. Go out there, even if somebody, yes, he may say, said, nah, you, I don't think you should do that. Nah. Go over his head and do it. <laughs> Just because he said no, don't mean the next person ain't going to say it. And don't even worry about what people say. Do what you feel you want to do it. All right. Because it's not what people say, is what you say. How do you look at it? I think those are words of wisdom to live by. And uh, with that, uh, we're going to close things out here. But before we go, please, please, you got to let us know. Where can we actually uh, check out all your stuff? Well, you can check all my stuff out at payhip.com. Um, you can check out my stuff also at um, at a break of change comics.com. No, not dot .com, break of change comics page. And also, if you want to get the book from me, just come and talk to me. Inbox me. All right. Thank you again so much. Uh, you know, it's, it's a pleasure to have you on here. And it's been uh, really enlightening. Thank you. Well, man, I told you that. See, when you're messing with me, you're messing with the best. I want to give you what you, <laughs> I want to give it to you, man. You know that. You know what I mean? You know I'm going. I got to give it to you. I got to give it to you raw and uncut, dirty, stinky, everything. I got to give it to you. That's just me. All right. 